I'll still be able to hear from Tristan's side at least. Mm, things happen. Why does my OBS do that so much? That I think about it, that is actually the one thing I've yet to see. A seven star electric Terra. Yeah, true, because Pikachu wasn't electric, it was water. Yeah. Honestly, I thought they were going to do something different with Chestnut instead of training at Rock. Rock is annoying to get around, but not bad. Especially since you can literally use its own typing against it, which is why they gave it Earthquake, but it doesn't do enough damage for Earthquake to be a problem. I don't know what I'm going to use against your Annihilate. To be fair, I don't know what I'm going to use against Annihilate. A Psychic Terra Annihilate. Because anything that would be good against it is now not good against it. I'm not sure I'll be here in Ally. Uh. Hmm? Actually, there's one idea I could think of. Shot out of the dark on the idea. Paracross would be a good choice against it because it's a bug type. Pretty sure. Let me double check with that before I make it. Before I'm wrong about it. Well, it's. Normally a fighting ghost type, but you're changing into a psychic type. So yes, but because of it being a psychic, a psychic Terra. Yeah, after I just saw it has a weakness to bug type, as well as dark and ghost. I guess I can go annihilate against annihilate, but they'd be weak to each other. I'll just be my Oscarado. You would... the only... uh... What the hell, Hollow? You could bring my Oscarado? My Oscarado would be a, a solid choice as long as... you don't get any uh, crit hits on it. As for... your... Annihilate. The only threat that I would see that you would have to deal with would be Rage Fist. Which I would be using Rage Fist back. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, I'm not sure how fast or how much you're going to be doing it to it whenever you get low off health, so that's going to be the fun situation. And that's just me thinking out loud. What the fuck, hello? <laughs> I just don't know what Pokemon I'd use for this, to be honest. Annihilate's a solid choice for. 
straight up DPS output. Uh, Heracross would be good for the bug typing. Yeah, but I don't have a bug type. I'm gonna double check what the hair I have bug types, I just don't have a Terra bug type. Okay, so Heracross would actually be the right choice against them. Yeah, because the only thing I have that's close to that would be King Gambit, I think. Question is, does a Night Leap learn any psychic type TMs that can that count as physical? I don't know about that. Um No. So the only thing you would have to be very careful on with Rage Fist. Find my uh, hair across. And there goes my stream. <laughs> anyway. Um, at this point, it'd probably be better to just um, find some of that neutral dome. Wouldn't go for that. Because the for fortunate part is, it's half uh, it's resistant against fighting type. It's only neutral on ghost type. Sixteen bottle caps. Damn. Two eighty three. That's going to be queued up. Well, I don't know what we're doing, so I'm gonna Fair go one. fucking do classes, I guess. Well, to be fair, I don't know what I'm doing either. You're supposed to be doing your six star. Yeah, but I don't know what to use against it. And he was actually helping you with it. We did your so. six star. Yours. Your fucking ass annihilate. I know that. So. And we did your annihilate. Or not your annihilate, but your six star. So I don't know what to do next. He was trying to help you with what to use against your goddamn annihilate. I say I'm just gonna use my Oscarate. You keep going like, oh well, I don't know what to use. 
Fine, I'll just use my Annihilate and see what's going on. Done. Challenge. Code's going live. God damn it. There's a minute left, Gaz. On the way. Let's see which Annihilate that is. It's just really simple, you've been having fucking... ...things I guess to have, so... So it is that one. And it has Shadow Claw instead of Rage Fist. Yeah, it's close combat, damn yeah, fucking crackled. Motherfucker. Guys, are you proud of me? I have a shiny. <laughs> Your shiny is adorable. It really is. The best I can do right now is just get a ton of defense on there. Even though know, that fucking. And that I'm frozen. That energy is gonna piss me off. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I mean, there's no way that you're gonna beat thing out. Just My crits God. every single hit. 
Like, I get fucking... I don't know why they made freaking... Made the raid boss have a high, high crit chance like that. You mean like the seven stars? Like Inteleon? Did Inteleon ever crit? Yeah. You still have a high crit chance. I never saw it once crit. I have. It even crit me with a bug. Because I was immune to crits at the time. Fucking A, that crit. Jeez, I should have just kept using Rage Fist. That was a lot of damage and I wasn't even terrorized. Or even boosted. Yeah, at this point, there's no way we're gonna be able to beat this one. Yeah, because it kills me in two hits. Well, it does the same for me as well. The problem about it is, if it wasn't for that critical hit increase, we'd have had a better chance at survival. Which one of the raid Pokemon is um, immune to crits? Was it Samurott? I want to say Samurott's one of them, along with uh, Dreadnought. And I think that one water poison type can have that too, but I could be wrong. But I'm gonna go ahead and look for somebody to raid out to, I guess. I'm gonna look up all the sh uh, Pokemon with Shell Armor real quick. Really? Torkoal can learn shell armor? Interesting. And Torterra, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna step away for a minute, I'll be right back. Go with Samurai anyway and go Megahorn. Change out Night Slash or Drill Run for um, a buff move if Samurai can learn one. I can learn focus energy, but it's not what I want. Ah, I can learn sword stance. Will it be able to live though? Doesn't have a great physical defense. Let's give it a try.
All right, I'm going to try this again. But I'm going to use Samurai instead. And he's going to change one of his things for his sword stance. Code's live. No, well, her stream went down again. Her internet's I'm back. really messing up. But um, I have the raid set up, and yet it's like minute left. Oh god damn it! I'm just gonna use the same route with sword stance and mega horn. It doesn't have a high defense stat though, so I'm a little worried about that. But I'm it's gonna, immune to crits. I'm making no promises to catch it and get it there in time. I'll just cancel. There. New code's up. Why'd you just have head pat me? I thought I was on hers. I only, I looked for a second for I looked away for like one second, then you realized which one I was on. Yeah. I just not block. She's deafened, so she can't even hear us. Yep. I do hear her uh, about right out because of uh, her connection. Yeah. I figured as much. It makes sense. Well, I'm not going to do this right without her. 
I'm gonna see if I can try to boost Heracross a little bit again. Well, I'll put the new code in. God damn it. Why is Duosion? I've never even heard of that Pokemon. Does it? It's in the Pokemon community game, Duosion. Duosion? Uh, I can look it up. I can look it up quick myself. Oh, it's that Pokemon. Oh, it's that fucking... Weird blob kind mm -hmm. of Pokemon. Yeah, apparently it's um it's the counterpart to Gatherita. It's the Mitosis Pokemon. You might have to remake it. I know I'm gonna have to remake it. had to do that, but that was also because of time. I guess you could have named it Chespy Chespy. Yeah, there we go. Who the hell? I don't remember ever sus. Oh wait, now I remember. Never mind. I'm gonna set up another code. It's live.
We're still talking about what to use, so. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use Samurai and, and uh, give it Sword Stance. Samurai would probably be the best option. Because it's immune to crits. Plus, it should have Mega Horn. It does. Sword Stance, Mega Horn. Sword Stance, Mega Horn, Aqua Cutter, I think. and It can learn focus. Um, focus. Whatever. Uh. I don't fucking remember the name of it either. The thing that increases its criticals. Yeah. Alright. I don't know why, but my mindset went to fucking Focus Sash. Same That's here. That's not right. It was like Focus Sash and Focus Punch, and I'm like, those are neither right. Focus energy. That's the one. Took me a minute to think about that. And it's using Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw and I think Triss at close combat. Yeah, definitely. And then um it's only real weakness is bug right now. You need something with high defense, and, might... and Samurai doesn't actually have over 200 defense. <laughs> but it does have the best way to deal with uh, criticals. Because so... it's immune to it. <laughs> yeah. Unless so it bugs. One plus. No, it shouldn't bug. It. It shouldn't. If it does, then yeah, no, they need to fix that shit immediately. I mean, they've done that multiple times. That's half my health with close combat. And it's using focus energy. Oh, but it failed. I guess that's a good thing. Was that heal cheer? Uh, not to my knowledge. Tris, did you use a heal cheer? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alright, I'll be able to do one more sword stance. I'll be ready. Oh god, I gotta attack. That was bad. That almost killed me too. I'm ready to go, so... I am too, so Mega Horn, let's go. Jesus. Doesn't Night Leap have a huge defense? Jeez. That's a tight good rise. And why? Oh my god, I got screwed. I say that, by the way, because I clicked Mega Horn and it didn't Mega Horn at all. What the hell's that? <laughs> that is so weird. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see. Heal tier as uh, the fuck. That better not be a real thing, Xylo. If it's coming from Xylo, I'm not too. I wouldn't be too surprised. And I'm gone. Damn it, that didn't heal her enough. <sighs> oh my god. And there's a null, so it doesn't even matter what my own mark. At this point, it, it's just better to go ahead and hit to get Terra. I'm dead no matter what I do here. Mm. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tomo, for the follow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I read that it's Mr. Tomo for a second. That is very true, Zach. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, Zylo. And that was the only thing I was worried about, Samurai, with the... with the low defense. Well, there's only there's only one other I can think of. I mean, I can still use my Annihilate with Rage Fist. Because I actually did some damage, even when I wasn't terrorized. You know, uh, go ahead and set it up here in a minute. I'm bringing, a, I'm bringing in a little bit more of a tanky mother. But which one do I use? Semrot? What nope, the hell? not that one. Xylo. <laughs> I'm also going to change one move. Well, maybe two. Cause my um, Jesus, everything I have is like weak to this thing right now, except for Samurai. Take it off Stone Edge. What That's item did Samurai have, have, for that matter, actually? I might have not put an item on it, and that's probably my bad. Yeah, it doesn't have an item on it. Oof, I'm sorry, Zylo, do you hear that? Muscle band wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, it would definitely be useful for physical move wise. Well, I can give it King's Rock and hope it flinches it. Yeah, that's the big if there. Uh, it's always an if. It's either that or give it Shell Bell, flinch. but I can't get kill it fast enough to, for Shell Bell to be even worth it. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up another one. Go right on ahead. I'm doing a quick rest. There you go. Goes live. I'm going to sword stance and hopefully flinch it. I'm going to do something I did back in Sword and Shield, and I'm not proud of it. Mm-hmm. I would love to, Xylo. That's the whole point. <laughs> and the only reason why I say I'm not proud of it, by the way, was because it was a method I did in the freaking DLC dungeon. Fucking hated doing it, but I had no choice. I don't know why I'm using, so I'm gonna see how this one. Why not join in? Because I don't know what to use. 
I can cancel until you think of something. I mean, I'm using I mean, the is Keep going, so. Fine. <laughs> Do I like my teddy bear one or my sexy face gorilla one? <laughs> Honestly speaking, I like the teddy bear one. It's just uh, there's sometimes when the uh, the humanoid one is just more fun to play with at the time. I just realized I'm just as tall as freaking Haxorus. Kiggity. <laughs> There goes that focus energy. They just tried using focus energy again. All right, Zyla, you take care and help your enjoy your shower. <laughs> So I'm actually going to use Night Slash since it's actually weak to that too. Go right on ahead. It's because of the high chance of critical. Just finished walking. Oh, okay. Come on, RNG. Alright, let's do this. Oh, you messed it up. You messed it up with Pin Missile? Two. Uh, you're facing the three, opposite direction. Four. Four hits. And I told you it's it's a weird it's a weird strategy, but <sighs> it works when you think about it. I died. I was maxed out. And I died. I should be able to Well, I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to do a crit. Nice. Did it crit? My attack crit. Hmm. It's using close combat and killing me right now. Yeah, sounds about right. Damn it. Oh god. I'm surprised you didn't put lucky dice on your Pokemon. If I did lucky dice, I would have died. Uh. Otherwise, I wouldn't have used it. But I knew how strong uh, it's freaking damage is. That's why I was like, no, no, I'm gonna use a tankier Pokemon. A close combat kind of hurts me a bit, but it doesn't hurt me too bad unless it fucking crits, in which case I'm fucked. Rage Fist? Yeah, because it gets stronger every single time when it gets hit. Man, it just killed me. Yep, I saw the, the uh, blink. Yep. Pin Missile Chestnut. 
unfortunately, it's the only bug type. At least to my knowledge, it's the only bug type movie to learn. I could double check, but... I mean, looking for TM. Uh, uh, that King's Rock yeah. didn't uh, happen at all. That's the only bug type move we can learn. Wasn't there an item that also helped with crits? Let's see. I'm using a dark type move, so an item for that probably wouldn't be too bad of a deal. Or I'm just going to actually use Goldengo Shell Bell on, uh, on my um, Annihilate. I just hope that I can keep healing myself fast enough. It might be... Uh, I'm going to add it. Which, that's always a risky move on my Annihilate, since it's not the most powerful Annihilate. It's strong, just not the most powerful. No, it's not the Pokemon. God damn it. Anyway, the code's gonna go up in a second. Hello, Legola. Wait a minute. Hmm. What? Oh my god, I didn't think about this till now. I'm a fucking idiot. I have found the way to beat this Pokemon. Question is, do I have it level 100? I will tell you here in a minute. I do. So... I'm scared to attempt this, but I'm going to do it. Joining in right now. Level on 100 level. Magic Carp. No. I'd rather do a Ditto over that. Hmm? Interesting yeah. choice, I know. Uh. Interesting choice. Like I said, I know. But I'm giving it a shot. I am curious if this works. Mine at level 100 almost dies from level 60s. Well, well keep on, this is against... Annihilate. Yeah. And the only two moves that I've seen it use. Aside from Focus. Uh, focus Energy and Bulk Up. Are... Close combat and Shadow Claw. Shadow Ball? It, no, Shadow, Shadow Claw. Claw. So, if it has anything else up its sleeve, I'll know. Well, here it goes. Because it's hurting me. Focus so. energy.
assurance. God damn, this hurts. Oh, it's a crit, that's why. Does that mean my Rage Fist is gonna do massive damage? Yeah. I feel I should fuck it with that up first. It used bulk up. 124 damage. Can I survive one hit? No. Ah, uh, it crit me. I was gonna survive if it didn't crit. Why am I doing more damage than when I started? Fuck, I forgot about that. So it has to fly. Yeah, I know. I forgot about that. That's why I haven't used Screech. I only live for two turns, I can't fucking do that. Oh, I can't terrorize. I'll turn me into a full ghost. I need to hit him, so I need to see if this will kill him. I'll let you attack. I'm just gonna stand fight. I'm gonna die. But I need to see if this works. Please don't let me terrorize and then you hit me before I get to hit him. Yes, you did. <sighs> I hate that's a thing. If they let you terrorize during an attack, you should use your attack before it hits you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can at least say one thing's for certain. Hmm. Like, it did, did take away the majority of his moveset. Wait a minute, doesn't Nightlife have an ability that every single time it gets crit, it's, it, its physical attack gets maxed? No. Uh, the ability it had was Defiance, which anytime you debuff it, it raises its attack. I'm talking about in general. No. Unless that's freaking Vital Spirit, Aaron Focus, and Defiant. Prevents Pokemon from falling asleep. Prevents flinching. What is that? Yeah, okay, never mind. Hmm. Which, which one is mine? I that idea did not work, but it was better than nothing. Which one do I have mine on? Inner focus, so it keeps it from flinching. Or it being intimidated. It's just not a good way to fight this thing. That really isn't. Not unless... Wait... No, no, that idea wouldn't work. Not unless I get lucky. There's one idea I have.
Dragon Knight, Dragon Pult, Salamence, Goldango. Really? Goldango? I'll give Goldango a try. Azumarill apparently does too, says Corviknight. They effectively counter a Night Leap. Yeah. Just getting to work in our favor is the fun part. Well, I was just thinking because Goldango has the um, has um, a dark type move. It's actually going to be good against him. It's going to have a high defense anyway. I were to do my strat. So Goldango's not a bad choice. Um, Triss, Triss's uh, Zoomerill would be great for this. Corviknight as well, but I don't know what well, those would be good like what to use against them. Can't use stat debuff moves. No, I have an idea for that. Hmm. You're gonna have to trust me on this idea. Okay. I'm bringing in my Umbreon. It's a risk that I'm willing to take. Triss, if you can, join us too. And make sure you're a Zoom Rail or... Uh... Gimme Goal is uh, ready to go. Because what I'm about to do is very risky. For at least me. And Skeletor is also a good counter, apparently. Would make uh, sense, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised Salamence is. I'm actually surprised any of the dragons are. Dragonite, Dragapult, and Salamence. I can understand Salamence because it's a flying type too, isn't it? It's a flying type, yeah. Yeah. But isn't Dragonite just Dragon? Dragonite is Dragon of Flying. Oh, never mind, that's why. And then Dragapult is, um, is Ghost. Yeah. Ghost Dragon. The only downside about that Pokemon is it's going to be affected by ghost type moves a lot. Well, it's the dark type move that I'm more worried about the Dragon Claw. Or I mean Shadow Claw. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, it's other move it has is a shirt. Just keep that in mind. Hmm. Yeah, because an Alvinaip is susceptible to flying, psychic, fairy, ghost type moves. These are wielded by creatures that match the time, blah, blah. But for our purposes, because it's also psychic, with a dark type move. Yeah. I'm more worried about Goldango because of its ghost typing. Well, it's a ghost typing, but because it's also a steel type, uh, it should be able to take a few more, a little bit more of a hit. I'm surprised that Gyarados is actually a good choice for that. <laughs> I'm not. Water flying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'll be taking two times damage, but if you can pull off... Utilizing options like Dragapult and Goldango. Well, they can employ powerful ghost-type moves to deal heavy damage to the monster. They also take super effective damage from these attacks. These drawbacks make them incredibly vulnerable to Annihilate's Rage Fist move, which grows in part each time it, it is hit. As well as the fact that 
it has shadow claw in this case so high crit however options like Covenant or dragonite which are not a ghost type vulnerability exist exploit the same goes for fighting type attacks ideally trainers will want to use as strong of a mon as possible to counter nightlight's typing as leaving this ghost fighting type to take damage over multiple rounds will empower its rage fist that doesn't matter since it doesn't use rage fist It's gonna hurt me not being able to heal myself when I need it, but for this strategy to work, you'll understand what I'm about to do. All right, so Tris, if you'd like to join, Otherwise, I'm going to have to train like a Dragonite. What is your uh, defense stat, by the way? It's okay. Like, okay as in over... 227. Okay. 227 and a 386 special attack. Yeah, it's special attack is underwhelming. Yeah, so if, uh... This is definitely gonna be a risky play that I'm about to do, but... At this point, it's worth the idea. Actually, I need to change out one of my moves for a dark type move. Go right on ahead if you... Uh... You sure about that? It has Shadow Ball. Well, keep in mind, uh, it's Ghost and Fighting, so it'll be doing neutral damage. Shadow Ball's a good, uh, it's actually one of the strongest Ghost type moves it can learn. It doesn't matter, I don't have an option. Except for Thief. Yeah, I would Well, Terra Blast would be an idea, but I wouldn't even use that. The Nightshade's not really a bad move, but... It does level in damage. Yeah. It's good if it was, uh... Wasn't a Terra. It's... Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to get nuked, but let's give it a try. If what I do here helps, then we have the advantage. You can't buff me. I never said I can't. But what I'm doing is something completely different than what you, you'd expect uh, Umbreon to be doing. I do actually like Full Metal Alchemist Zylo. Full Metal Alchemist is really good. It's one of the few few remaining animes I still watch this day. 
I watched uh, Full Metal Brotherhood all the way through, too. No, I have not seen the movies, unfortunately. I haven't seen most anime movies, to be honest. The live-action ones? No, I haven't. I didn't even know they had live-action Full Metal Alchemist. You benched him. I don't even use Netflix. I have Netflix. I just never care for a Netflix truth be told. And they weren't kidding about it to be another Transformers movie. I normally don't like the live action ones of the animes because it's so perfect they in your opinion. Come out good. Normally. No people, but not all the spoilers. Oh, okay. I hate bringing this specific movie up, but the best example that I'll always use is the fucking Dragon Ball Z movie. The live action one. That was the worst thing they've ever created. The Avatar one was pretty crap, too. It was pretty, I never, but it was pretty crap. I saw the trailer of it, but I'd never seen it. And I'm kind of glad I never did it. I mean, it looked good. But that's pretty much all it had going for it. Alright, Zell. I'll have to trust you on that. Sounds pretty good. I like the whitewashed avatar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. To fight. Oh, you took us to fight away. Yep. Now, if only we can lower its attack. I got that. I got it immediately removed. Oh, here goes crits, so it doesn't matter. Jeez, it almost killed you. I'm gonna have to heal. have a literally cannon race that has darker skin, what kind of ancient lighter than society. Yeah, they really did that that really badly. But Netflix Originals Where's my oh my god. Or was Avatar a Netflix original I forget which. Uh can you do another hero cheer? Yeah I'm going to because I'm so close to death anyway. Thank you for the lurk Legola. Help you to die. I know I did, but I've lowered its freaking physical attack by two stages so far. I died. I was maxed out. And there goes the shield, so it's gonna take away its debuffs now. Yep. Affecting oh, our side this our time. Our side. Our side. Not anymore. We took it away. At least play has a little time. No, fuck or it. Not. First turn crit. 
I'm just gonna shadow ball it. Fuck it at this point. Yep, I'm dead. strat that I have works on paper. It's just I wish we had one more to get down the uh, the <coughs> defense buff almost immediately after I use the freaking skill swap. Actually no, you know what? On second thought now. I'm gonna wait for the time to run out. I'm gonna use it like immediately, then fucking skill swap. And if I survive, then I'm gonna hit it with one fucking. Uh. Baby doll eyes. A three, three kilometer walk? Three times a week? I basically work out every day at my job. <laughs> Hmm. I used to do three kilometer walks, but after my knee gave out, I uh, can't do it. I need to look at my boxes real quick. Alright. Let's move Samurai back inside. Um... Fair enough. What happened to my Gyarados? <laughs> I was training a Gyarados. Oh, is it because it's the shiny Magikarp level 1? <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad way to put it right now. It's lesser special attack, higher physical attack. Because that is what a Gyarados is. Is it really the shiny one? Why aren't you in spandex? What the hell? Speed walking spandex. It's incredibly great for um when you get like rashes and shit. But it definitely makes you s smell and cook in your own shit. Is that a please? <laughs> this point I'm honestly about to say we we should just say fuck, uh, I'm not able to just do the other one I have. I don't... Do I have enough money to just do anything right now? 137? No. <laughs> you might be able to buy... Yeah, you have enough to buy, uh... 14 between the money and the LP. I'm about to change that. Eight three thousand. At least that's another eight.
Nah, that's completely understandable, Tyler. No, I get that too. Um, I'm just more worried about the fact that I easily get heat rashes. It sucks every single time. Regardless of when it comes to fucking heat, I just hate hate it in general. I mean, same, but still. Does Medelli not have one of those shops? You talking about the Chansey store? Mm-hmm. I don't remember seeing one. Like every town at least has one of them. Am I just missing it? You might want to let's do the map in. Oh, it's just mainly food. So I looked around for nothing. Well, I'm not even gonna lie with you on that one. I honestly thought they did have a chancy story there too. And should I put a power bracer on it? Even though it's gonna make it slower. <laughs> All right, Legolas. Like, like. That's up to you. Well, it can't hurt necessarily. If memory serves, it evolves at thirty, so. Have a good night, Legola. Oh, <clears throat> night, night, Legola. I'm dealing with that. That's The fuck, penguin? Uh, 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 I have nightmares if you don't sleep. Actually, you do speak the truth about that one, Zalo. God damn it, penguin. That is question. The question that 
even I don't have an answer for. I don't want an answer for it. I'm gonna say it potentially. God. So there are multiple stores here. Where's the pharmacy? Chancy store. Oh, it's on the other side. Yep. <sighs> Why'd they change it to where both Chancy stores are over here? That's just how they did it. I remember I used to be able to go to one side and be able to get both. But that's just off of my memory. It might be wrong. Oh, there's your answer. Well, yeah, because of PTSD and other things. That would make sense. I don't like the idea. Let's go ahead and... Let's do 10 for the moment. Because I don't know how many of proteins this magic herb can take. Know what I mean? I don't fucking remember. That's what it'd be, trauma. Well, definitely use ten. That's definitely the truth on that. True. So I was only able to buy one more after that. Well, I did say you had enough for one for every LP. I know. Uh, you could sell some stuff from the uh, Pokemon materials and get a little bit more if you wanted to. Yeah, but I also don't have that many of those. Alright, so that is 23 attack ups on this magic carp alone. I want to check its attack stat while you're at it. I'd have to do it in the box, I guess. Uh, oh wait, because it's level one, you're not gonna see any difference yet. Mm-hmm. So, um, the reason why I'm just like uh, scrimping is because I've been scrimping for a while now, to be honest. So whatever you do, don't save yet. Okay. That way, the reason why I say it because once you go and um, level up your magic harp and see where its stats are at, you can see a difference after that. Yeah, Pokemon are strange creatures.
But as you can tell, I'm actually low on a couple of different parts now. I was actually referring to the LP over the actual money. Because you get more from the LP. You do? <laughs> He's just going through all my commands now. Pretty much. Oh, you do. Jeez. It's a lot better. Yeah. Like, materials, if you ever need LP, that's how you usually would do it. Is go here for it. I mean, fair enough, Zella. There's a Starmie. There's a Starmie. That's a Pokemon I've not seen in a long ass time. I got so many Dracatini scales. It's ridiculous. I will pick that up in just a moment. That's an interesting name for somebody to get <laughs> bought it out. Like, Annihilate's an amazing Pokemon, but he is super fucking annoying to go against. Switch to Roma. Oh boy, here we go. Congratulations, Tomato. You do get a lot of stuff for this stuff. And depending on the Pokemon and stuff, you get a lot more for it. She's like, Jesus Christ. There we go. Well, it looks like I'm going to be able to buy 12 more. Because even if all else fails, I want its attack set to be maximum. Hello, Astro. How you doing? Because the other stats is are important, but not as important as its attack stat right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> it can only take 24 of those. So I bought those proteins for nothing. I mean, not really. Well, I would have liked to have done it on free HP as well. Actually, I could do these, these at any time right now. For that matter. Well, the other reason why I said it not really is because you have them for later for another Pokemon. True. <coughs> well, let's see what happens first. Level 20 from a large. Well, that's the exact amount it needs to level. Uh, evolve, I mean. 
It evolves at 20. Oh, uh, it was 20. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. I was thinking 30. No, it's 20. So if that's gonna be the case, um, I actually just leveling it up now to maximum is kind of the point, and then because there's not much more I could do for it at the moment. The only fun part is trying to. Uh, make Gyarados a monster. Well, it's got its attack set max, and now it just needs to go HP and, and possibly defense. And then well, choose that, a move set. But I was also referring to, um... Its moves? Its general move set, because it doesn't really have a solid, uh... a solid buff. Because, you know, dragon, uh, dragon ants. I was just thinking of, like, an actual item to give it to him. But, uh, actually... Good point. I could just do, um... A shell bell on him. Shell bell might be your best choice to go with it. It also depends on how much uh That's a pretty decent HP. Three eighty three for a tech. I thought it would have higher. One three eighty three. I do like that red Gyarados though. Because I've just maximized its attack power from level 1 to max. It was a um, perfect um, magic card with a power bracer that made it so that it get, gained attack power every single time it leveled. Up to its optimal um, levels as well. So this should be a maximized Gyarados. I always hated Mach T. Hmm? The ability. Oh. When the Pokemon knocks out a target, yeah. I can easily change it. It's probably going to have Intimidate or something. I forget if it's only Moxie or Intimidate. It might only just be Intimidate or Moxie. Let me double check. Yeah. Wait a minute. Actually, I want to first remember moves. Because it has Hurricane, which is really good. But, uh, yeah, Intimidator and Moxie. Yeah. Aqua Tail is also amazing, too. So, yeah, you're pretty much screwed. I like Aqua Tail over Waterfall. Debuff. Well, Gyarados can't debuff. Well, Intimidate helps with a quick debuff. Yeah. That's why I said you're pretty much screwed when it comes to ability wise, so you'd have to use Moxie at that point. Hmm. Gosh damn it. There we go. Aquatel's 90 90, which is not bad. I like Aquatel. What is Mate Yorgos? And then I can change Bite out for Crunch, even though I actually like Bite better. But oh, Crunch is better for um, the raids. Yeah. I just like Bite so much better. Bite's just useful for that freaking uh, flinch. Mm -hmm. Alright, then TM moves. What can we teach it? I always forget that I can learn thunder. <laughs> so 
Thunder, you could learn fucking Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. You can learn Blizzard. Outrage. Outrage is one of the most beautiful fucking moves it has. It suck on it for three turns, but at that point. I mean, by the time uh, the third hit usually happens, you're pretty much you're pretty much killing your opponent anyway. So. It can learn Iron Head. Yeah. That's insane. It can learn Taunt. <laughs> yep. I find it even more hilarious on the fact they can learn Bulldogs. Yeah, right. I can learn water balls and ice fang. What? Gyarados, why are you so scary? <laughs> I'm definitely going to teach it Hurricane. Well, no, never mind. It's Accuracy 70. And Hurricane's a special, unfortunately. Yeah. Outrage is amazing, though. Um, unfortunately, Hurricane's the only flying type move in LR. And there we go. And it can only learn one buff move, too, which is the Dragon Dance. Yeah. Which unfortunately is just one that increases its uh its attack and speed. Which isn't too bad. It's not it's just saddening to see that uh Gyarados hasn't really gotten any love. <laughs> Did you see its moveset? I mean, it has a, sol a solid fucking move set, but I'm just referring to, like, stat-wise. Mm, it's okay in stats. Uh, I'm surprised this defense is lower than special. To be honest. Yeah. Which I might sell some of the things to go ahead and um, increase his defense up instead. Granted, uh, it makes sense that it has more special defense, considering uh, at least at the time of oh. Gen 1. 16 iron. Never mind. Let's see. Oh, it takes all 16. Jesus. Alright. Let's check its stats now. I was surprised it took all 16. Yeah, there we go. It's on par. And the rest will go into HP. Okay. Do I have any HP ups? Might have run out of HP ups. I did run out of HP ups. Okay. Uh, I like the way this Gyarados turned out regardless. I really wish that Ninja was in this damn game. And this Annihilate is probably gone. Nope, it's still there. Because it hit midnight. That's why I'm saying that. Yeah. Okay. So, I saw a notification. Let's go ahead and um, get that notification set up. Oh boy. And is this you, Zello? Nope, that shit's still broken. Okay. I guess it wouldn't matter too much. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and uh, confirm with them later. 
Okay. Why is it uh, actually being silo? I'd hope it is, because I'm gonna do that. Where yeah, I are they like, that has been quite quite a while. Well, they said they were gonna take a shower and then disappeared and then came back right. temporarily. It, it's the way things are. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do this raid. With this Gyarados that I hope is gonna be good. And there goes my controller. I really wish I knew where my straps were. <laughs> or even the gamepad uh, thing I have for it. <laughs> where was I from put it? I, pff, that's the problem, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> for me, you're friendly, but I always forget where I put shit here, so. It would take me a minute to look for. So I'm immediately doing reflag. Immediately doing uh, skill swap, and I'm just going to constantly lower the fuck out of its fucking attack. All right, well, let's start this. Oh, there's a cranio dose, a cranio dose in there. I just don't notice that. I love this fucking oh, red Gyarados. Fuck. What happened? Oh, Intimidate happened immediately. But now I have no other, other option here. I gotta fucking do it now later. Well, I'm gonna Dragon Dance to increase my stat level by one level at least. And then I'm gonna start using Crunch in hopes to decrease its defense. Annihilate's gonna kill me before I'm, before I'm done. But that is fine. I'll take one for the Another Dragon Dance. And then I'm gonna start crunching. Cause that's two levels. I can't yeah. wait. Hi. How are you? Hmm. <laughs> now I got my little shiny Gyarados. Look at him, he's so cute. I'm gonna do as much as I can in terms of deep. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so Actually, this Gyarados uh, isn't too. I thought you've done that. <laughs> this Gyarados is not doing too bad, actually. Thank you for the helping hand. Make it count, because I can only do it so many times now. I know. I need to terrorize, that's what needs to happen. But did our princess go ahead and get something to eat or something? Here comes the terrorize. I'm talking about you, princess. Oh, bye-bye, Faded. Eh. 
no point for me healing anyway because I fucking got another crit. I think I can survive this at least. Somewhat. I need to check the. I may or may not just fucked up there, but it's worth it. Oh, the hero cheer. Yeah. I probably should have changed my typing. I mean, I'm and not in a bad place. Ooh, nice. I mean, I'm not in a bad place for this typing. But it would have been better if I had it on, like, dark. Because then I'd at least be doing times two more damage. Or no, the terrorization increases it by one stage. Well, not one stage. Damn it. It's technically by two stages. It's okay. That helping hand will help me with my next attack. Yeah, that just died in the process. Ooh, that fucking crit was nasty, though. Annihilates... Defense is so low now. No, 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 don't use Rage Fist right now! Oh, it hit the Tauros. Come on. Ah, uh, oh, almost! One more hit! <laughs> one more hit! It would have had one more hit, yep. So, this Gyarados is a viable strategy. <laughs> I just wish it had Sword Stance. Yeah. I guess, um... If I decided to do this, uh... Again... Increasing its attack power is amazing. That'd be great. Uh, Shell Bell's not bad. Should I change its terror type though to dark? It would it would be attacked by Rage Fist and Shadow Claw though. Close combat would be the one that would really hurt you. Yeah. So, so that would be kind of keeping a water terror is actually okay. Water Terra, or I would even say Flying Terra. Actually, Flying Terra would be good. Because you can at least ignore the uh, the close combat if it ever uses it on you. Uh, not ignore, but definitely get resistant to it. Uh, I think it's Kaskarov that has the place, right? Or no, it's not. Is it Kaskarov? I think it's Kaskarov. I don't even know if I have enough flying gems for that matter, actually. It's the normal type area, I know that much. It's that fucking... That one town you were at with all the food that stands. Mm. That's Medali. Oh, uh, that's why. It's over here. <laughs> it's actually close by. Princess, I'm almost ready to be able to kill this Annihilate. Change this to flying.
come here flying. Yeah, I got enough. Let's go ahead and give it to Gyarados, make it a flying Terra. I wish that had an animation. Yeah, I was expecting them to actually have an animation for that shit. Well, I mean, they have an animation for you eating the sub sandwich, so why didn't they have an animation for, like, at least the, um, symbols of the, the typing? The terror food. Yeah, you know, the typing, at least. Yeah. Uh, fly in the background where your Pokemon or you are, like, um, nom nom. I got a no, ditto outbreak. <laughs> I got dittos. I mean, hey, if you ever want another fucking bass army of dittos, then there you go. I had too many dittos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to um, go for a perfect IV ditto anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright. So, my current build for this Pokemon is actually not bad. I would like to give it a flying move. But the problem is, it's not a good flying move, so let's go and just try it. God damn it. And there goes my controller again. At least you, at least your controller uh, turned off at on the fucking the waiting screen at night, like when you're trying to fucking load into one. Let's do this one. Let's go ahead and do this. So you want me to wait? Yeah, give me a second. Oh, son of a bitch. That's another Arcanine. God damn you, Arcanine and Tauros! <laughs> Arcanine and Tauros. I say Arcanine and Tauros because those are the only two Pokemon that I know that I'll literally have the Intimidate fucking ability at all times. So, I go skill swap. I'll go ahead and start uh, 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 Dragon Dancing then. So right on ahead, that it might be doing some fucking stupid ass damage to you. Oh my god, what the fuck? Just one shot you? He just fucking one shot me. Fuck you, Arcanine. I blame you for that. Wow. Because I even got hit with a crit and it took like half my tree almost. Ah. 
Ow! Good timing on that, actually. Yeah, I had to wait for five seconds before I could do anything. I'm gonna use another Dragon Dance, that's three levels. God damn, Megahorn. Oh no, I just realized something. The fucking Megahorn from, uh... Paragross. Is gonna cause him to shield and t knock out our, um, stat buffs, and I'm three levels in. I need a hit now. That's a pretty good chunk, though. Oh, too late. It's one that I get. Are you gonna help in hand? Was that what it was? No, I was gonna hit it with baby eyes real quick, but too late now. Well, I couldn't really do anything about it anyway. There's the stat change. And now I just gotta tough it out. As long as Arcanine keeps lowering its fucking physical attack, we shouldn't fall. Um, not with its crits. Because every single time it crits, it ignores the stat changes. Didn't crit on me that time. Thank god. Ow! Jeez. My life feels here. And I could terrorize, so at least I'll get full healing from the shell bell attack. And I am faster than it. <laughs> Let's go all these resistances. Let's hope it's enough. It barely did anything. <laughs> I used assurance. Oh! That barely did any damage to me. I think I got this now. Unless it shadow claws me. Okay, heal cheer going. I need to live instead of you. And you've used all three years. Yeah, I've already used mine a long time ago. Oh, I didn't one-shot you. Doesn't surprise me. <sighs> its crits are fucking me over. I've at least bought you time to sustain your health. Just try not to attack until after after another healthy tank comes in. I I need health, to be honest. I don't know if another crunch would do it and allow me to live. But let's go. It's better, it's better than just fucking taking take a shot. Yeah, you got one more hit. And you oh, die. so close. So, so you have close. a chance to kill this. Until he bulks up. But I can definitely try. I should have enough damage to do this. There we go. Now let's see if I live. Let's see if I can do enough damage. Yes! I'm capturing this fucker. <laughs> I don't blame you. And then uh, we're gonna be switching games at least for another hour on my end. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Let's put an ultra ball on this fucker because he's fucking ultra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to see how long it's gonna take before it takes. It shouldn't take too long.
Yay, what? fucking updates. Oh, Psychic Shards? It has a lot of rare candy larges. It gave me a couple well, of that's not what I meant, Tris. I'm referring to re-download. All right. No, I'm not going to name this thing. I want to look at this fucker. 182 attack power. 87.20 gigs. That's probably going to take a few hours. This wasn't even that strong of an Annihilate normally. What the hell? And it's bashful? So it's neutral? What the hell? Oh. Oh, fucking. I'll let it download, but it's going to be a while. This fucking Pokemon wasn't that... That's a lot weaker than I thought he was, given how much of a pain in the ass he was. Alright. Uh, anyway. So, everyone that's been watching and hanging out with us for tonight, I'm going to be changing games over in just a moment, so... Go ahead and stay tuned, and I'll end real quick, and then start the stream again. So anybody that's still watching, just stay here, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 